Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thanks for joining me today as we read a psalm a day. Today we're up to Psalm 118, as I do each time we get together. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible Translation. Feel free to to follow along in the way and manner which fits you best to get the most out of your psalm today. Let's get into Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his faithful love lasts forever. Let Israel say it, God's faithful love lasts forever. Let the house of Aaron say it, God's faithful love lasts forever. Let those who honor the Lord say it, God's faithful love lasts forever. In tight circumstances, I cried out to the Lord. The Lord answered me with wide open spaces. The Lord is for me. I won't be afraid. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is for me as my helper. I look in victory on those who hate me. It's far better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust any human. It's far better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust any human leader. All the nations surrounded me, but I cut them down in the Lord's name. Yes, they surrounded me on every single side, but I cut them down in the Lord's name. They surrounded me like bees, but they were extinguished like burning thorns. I cut them down in the Lord's name. I was pushed so hard I nearly died, but the Lord helped me. The Lord was my strength and protection. He was my saving help. The sound of joyful songs and deliverance are heard in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's strong hand is victorious. The Lord's strong hand is ready to strike. The Lord's strong hand is victorious. I won't die. No, I will live and declare what the Lord has done. Yes, the Lord definitely disciplined me, but he didn't hand me over to death. Open the gates of righteousness for me so I can come in and give thanks to the Lord. This is the Lord's gate. Those who are righteous enter through it. I thank you because you answered me, because you were my saving help. The stone rejected by the builders is now the main foundation stone. This has happened because of the Lord. It is astounding in our sight. This is the day the Lord acted, and we will rejoice and celebrate in it. Lord, please save us. Lord, please let us succeed. The one who enters the Lord's in the Lord's name is blessed. We bless all of you from the Lord's house. The Lord is God. He has shined a light on us. So lead the festival offering with ropes all the way to the horns of the altar. You are my God. I will give thanks to you. You are my God. I will lift you up high. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his faithful love lasts forever. That's the end of Psalm 118. What did you hear in all of these verses? What did you like? What was maybe something you didn't like about this psalm? You know, one of the, the, I mean, there were actually many things that stuck out to me. Uh, One of the things that stuck out was the part where it talks about the cornerstone being rejected, and that is something in which we see in Scripture referencing Jesus and how he talks about being the cornerstone rejected by the builders, as in he is the cornerstone of of being a, one of the, the parts of God that was then rejected by his own people, Israel. And that is in verse 22. And then just, a, you know, another verse later in verse 24, this is another part that stuck out to me is that in the Common English Bible translation says, this is the day the Lord acted. We will rejoice and celebrate in it. And uh, in the translation uh, that I'm most familiar with through the NRSV, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And, uh, you know, that's just uh, not only a a song that we're familiar with, but also uh, just a wonderful saying 
that we are accustomed to saying. And it is a wonderful phrase by which we, we remember, you know, today is the day that God made. Every day is the day that God made. And let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's rejoice and be glad that we're alive and we're here on this earth to enjoy it and to be blessed by God because of God's love and faithfulness, which lasts forever. And, you know, and it talks about that in the very beginning of the psalm. Again, similarly to if you joined me yesterday, in the very beginning we hear multiple times, God's faithful love lasts forever. And then the rest of the psalm, I think, in ways are reflections of how God's faithful love lasts forever and how it it reaches out to us and we are a part of that so those are kinds of just a few of the things that i heard today i mean there was a lot in the psalm a lot that really kind of stuck out to me and there's probably a lot more that we could talk about but we're gonna cut it off there uh, and just remember to write down the things that you heard and to share them with a friend, and to share them with us. And as always, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and God bless.